here at the Water Cube with uh, Nicoletta Bolano from UN Water. So Nicoletta, tell me, tell me who you are and what you do. Okay, well I have to say that I work at uh, FAO, which is the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. You're based in Rome. I'm right? based in Rome, yes. And I'm uh, virtually working for UN Water. I'm the communications manager. And uh, I've been uh, trying to put UN Water communication um, up and under a good uh, light for the past uh, four years. I've been in charge of the various World Water Day campaigns and I must say that's the, the most exciting piece of work. Well, it's a big focus for the it's, a, it's really how the, the UN tends to structure a lot of its communications around this annual event, doesn't it, which is today actually. Yes, yes, and I'm very happy about that because the campaign is picking up year after year and, and I'm proud because, uh, you know, I feel like uh, I'm also playing a, a part uh, in yeah. it. And uh, this year we have actually used more and more social media and uh, it's uh, going really well. We are involving people all over the world. We are getting uh, people through Flickr, through Facebook and, uh, and really trying to make the most out of what they are seeing where they are. So, um, I mean, I've seen the brand and identity work, which are, is a significant step forward from previous years, I think it would be well, fair to say. I... I have to say that I, I live in a fairly um, happy position because uh, I have been uh, struggling to get, uh, uh, let's say, uh, freedom of creativity uh, for the World Water Day. It's not always, it's not always very easy, uh, but uh, so far we have managed. Uh, we are a small team and uh, with a lot of uh, uh, talent in it, a great designer, uh, people that are dealing with the social media, you know, we're, we're all doing a, a lot of things and we manage to, uh, let's say, push what we really want to go through, including the design. That is not very easy in, a, in an environment uh, uh, that is uh, normally as corporate as the UN. You know, it's not the outside world, the private uh, sector where you can be really uh, forward pushing, so it's not easy. So I, I can imagine getting, you know, using social media tools like Flickr and Facebook and YouTube as, as well. We've got a link between Watercube direct to YouTube yes. for, for the UN World Water Day YouTube channel. Getting this stuff adopted in the UN must be quite hard because there's not a tendency to say, oh, we should build our own thing, we should use have our own systems. Or... Well, you know, I, I also come from the private sector, so, and I'm a bit of a technological person so I'm always very keen on adopting uh, new things and on top of all things that are free and available to everyone to make you know the best out of this technological world that we are living in and yeah. you know even the collaboration with you guys it's great I think that these tools are opening up barriers and uh, offering ways to collaborate uh, so much more and so much uh, more freely without depending on big corporations and so on. I think it's, a, it's uh, fantastic. Is there an argument that, that things like Flickr or Facebook, they're becoming the new media channels, aren't they, for you know, for a significant amount of output now? You, you just choose which ones to focus on. Uh, yeah, let's say that um, so far I've used the ones that are you know, used by most people uh, because uh, I think it's important also to reach the biggest amount of uh, public and user and you know being available to uh, talk uh, to people that are all over the world at, uh, uh, at, at the speed of a click or an email or a flicker on a Facebook uh, message is just fantastic so you need to build on what's ready grown. Great so um, it's lovely talking to you thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks.